So, starting tomorrow, PS Plus is going to be a lot more expensive. Sony is, for whatever ridiculous reason, or probably no reason at all other than greed, is going to be increasing their PS Plus from 60 a year to 80 a year. That is the essential plan. The extra is even more than that, and the premium is now going to go way up to like 160 as opposed to 120 a year. I guess I'm not going to be using PS Plus anymore to play online games. Uh, because that is just ridiculous. Right now, I have Premium, and that's how I got access to, you know, the, the Siphon Filter games and, you know, a few other games that I played on my free time. Uh, but my subscription is ending, I believe, the 21st of, of this month. And I have it on Auto Renew, and right now it says $59.99 for an auto renew just to go back to the essential because I have no plans on playing any uh, any other games that are on premium. I don't think it's a great library in my opinion and I I have very few games on extra that I want to play anyway as well. So I still have a bucket list of things to do with online multiplayer on the games I own. So I want to to just go back to essential but if I find out tomorrow that they are going to be charging me 80 as opposed to 60 even though I have it set to auto renew like like really like secretly making me pay more out of my debit <laughs> I'm going to fucking cancel and I am never going to buy PS Plus ever again unless I find it on sale, like if it's on Black Friday for like 50 bucks or something, then I'll, I'll renew. But I ain't paying 80 bucks, 80 fucking dollars, just to play online multiplayer games. Oh, with the monthly free games that most of them are fucking shit. Like, why would I want to play Saints Row 2022 again? That game is garbage. You couldn't have given us better games? Like, that's the thing. And now, I've been saying this for a few years. Game Pass is the way to go. Xbox Game Pass is the right way to go. Because they have way more day one offerings. Like, Starfield is day one. Forza Motorsport is going to be day one. Pretty much every Microsoft exclusive or Bethesda is day one. PS Plus doesn't do that. It'd be different if... We got Baldur's Gate 3 day one for free on PS Plus. Then I'd be like, oh, oh shit. Because I really want to play Baldur's Gate 3. I hear it's a masterpiece. I hear it's like the best game of the year. But that's not coming on PS Plus. Uh, it's coming on PS5, but not PS Plus. You know, like like Final Fantasy 16 didn't come out on PS Plus. You had to buy the full game for 70 Same thing with God of War Ragnarok. Spider-Man 2, again, you gotta pay 70 It's not gonna be on PS Plus, day one. You see the comparisons here? PS Plus, you know, unless you plan on playing a lot in their library, is not worth that amount of money. If you're gonna increase the price, increase the fucking value. Increase the benefits. Otherwise, don't expect... <laughs> there to be a lot of people who are going to put up with this. Expect a lot of people who are going to be canceling their subscriptions. I hope this backfires. I hope this backfires fucking hard so that they realize that, oh shit, we didn't, we didn't consider, you know, other people's priorities, you know, their, their needs. We just want their money. Angry Joe said it best. Fuck you, give me money. He's right about that. Like, that's all big corporations care about. Other people's money. My days of being a PS Plus owner are probably coming to an end. Just because they're increasing their prices. But not increasing the value of their service. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I mean... 
th this is just ridiculous. Um, that's all there is to it. I got premium last year. I I think that was a Black Friday deal I did. I, I got... I bought, like, the equivalent worth of what my remaining essential subscription was. So I didn't have to pay a lot for premium. I had to pay, like, 30-something more bucks or whatever to upgrade to premium. And I'm kind of glad I did. You know, I, I played a bit of, like, the original Ratchet & Clank. I um, played the Siphon Filter games and, you know, a couple others. Uh, I've also played... Um, or I'm finishing, I'm in the process of finishing Sea of Stars, which I am looking to review at some point this month. Probably probably in like two more weeks, you'll probably see a Sea of Stars review out. But yeah, I just, um, I'm bummed because I have this bucket list of things I want to finish. Like, you know, GTA Five. I want to reach rank 100 and, you know, do some more heists and stuff like that. Street Fighter VI, I was hoping to experience the tournaments that, unfortunately, still haven't gone online yet. So, I guess that's a no-go for me. You know, it, it's just, there, there's nothing good to come out of this. So, I'm going to cancel my subscription. At least if I find out, they're going to be charging me more behind my back. But like, without letting me know. <sighs> oh, God. Why, Sony? You've been fucking up a lot lately, man. Sometimes I feel like I, I... I bought the wrong console. Not to say I don't like the PS5, but it's like... You know, I, I could have gotten an Xbox Series S for way less. And I'd have, like, you know, just... I just buy Game Pass, and that's it. I'd be happy with that. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> Another thing. I went to GameStop a couple days ago to check to see if they had any more PS Plus subscription cards that I could actually buy and already pay for with $59.99. Um, I was doing this in the hopes that I would find a workaround so that they don't charge me more you know because i i can't i can't cancel the subscription i already have like right now and then resubscribe i have to wait for my subscription period to end but by that time the 21st they're already going, going to be charging more so i was hoping to find ps plus cards like prepaid but uh, apparently Sony doesn't do that anymore. I wonder why. Sly bastards. You fucking cheeky sly motherfuckers. Fuck you. You're not having any more of my money. Unless I find it for like dirt cheap online. Like if you ever have the generosity to do another PS Plus sale, then I'll consider it. But I'm not paying fucking 80 bucks for the basics. I wouldn't mind paying 80 bucks for, like, extra, maybe. But even the extras are being increased to, like, fucking, like, 135 or some shit. It's like, they're increasing all tiers. They're increasing the prices for all tiers. I'm, yeah... Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just fed up at this point with Sony. I'm fucking fed up. There was a time when I loved them more than any other of the companies. Now they're like, they're getting to be like my least favorite. Fuck them. The Gamer Gods! Hey!